The chapter begins with Sentomaru ordering everyone on Egghead Island to flee the island. He tells them about the destruction of Ohara, a place that was destroyed because they defied the world government by studying ponographs. The world government is deadly serious about killing Dr. Vegapunk, and it is because they have weighted all of their potential scientific consequences and have chosen to eliminate him anyway. Sentomaru is very certain that something even worse than that day will occur on Egghead Island. In his mind, he desperately asks Luffy to hurry up and leave the island with Vegapunk. In the command room, Luffy, Lucy, Zoro and Kaku are struggling to do any lasting damage to S-Bear and S-Hawk. Zoro realizes that the two Seraphims resemble King from the Beast Pirate. Shaka is surprised to learn that Kaido has a Lunarian in his crew, but Zoro tells him that he did not know what exactly he was. Shaka confirms that the Seraphims were made using King's lineage factor, prompting Zoro to tell Luffy, Lucy and Kaku to watch out for the flames of the Seraphim's backs because when they go out, they get faster but lose their defense. In Building A, Nami's group has crossed path with S-Shark, who has knocked off Brook's head off from his body and heavily damaged Edison. Nami decides to fight back against the Seraphim, even if it looks like Jimbe. She summons Zeus and has him use Raitei to electrocute S-Shark from the inside, which seems to hurt him, while she sobs and apologizes to Jimbe. Unfortunately, S-Shark dives into the ground just as Brook reattaches his head to his neck. He warns Nami to watch out, but Sanji charges in and sends S-Shark flying in a rage, determined to beat the Seraphim to a pulp for hurting Nami. In Building C, Lilith is furious that s petrified York, so she shoots her with her bubble gun. It grazes her shoulder but causes her to fall over, and Lilith says it is because the bubble was made from the energy of the sea, and since S-Snake has blood synthesized from an existing Devil's Fruit user, she can fall prey to the sea. Frankie tries to subdue her, but because S-Snake was just grazed, she gets back up quickly and knocks Frankie away. She fires a laser at Usopu and Lilith, but Frankie traps her under a large bubble. However, a snake pleads that she is suffering, causing Frankie to drop his guard long enough for a snake to break free and petrify part of his body with perfume femur. Lilith fires several bubbles at her, but she dodges them all and charms both her and Usopu before turning them into stone with Mero Mero Mello. Underground, Shaka finds all of the Cypher Pole agents and Dr. Vegapunk contained in a lab that was previously used for Devil Fruit research. Shaka is left perplexed by this revelation as Vegapunk asks him who is currently with him. Shaka turns around to see who he is talking about, only to be shot in the head, much to everyone's horror. Shaka collapses as Vegapunk hears footsteps, with a look of horror etched into his face. What do you think about this chapter guys? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video then check out my other two videos over here and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel for more anime related content and updates like this. And that's it and I will see you in the next one. Sayonara.